Hello everyone and welcome to episode 27 of We Happy Few. We stopped in front of the Space God's house the last time and this time we're actually going to go in. Now because now we know that it's not a door that we need to get in through but I think it's this window here. The problem is I don't really have anything to throw. No, 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 you don't see me. It's okay. Why are they all bold? Or not bold, why are they all bored? I'm really sorry that I... If I should have to fight them... I will need to kill them because I don't have a non-lethal weapon with me. I wish I bought that padded thing at the store. Maybe I'm just gonna throw this rock to get her away. To lure her away. Maybe I'll throw it in this direction. Oh no. Who's there? Go up. Look for it. Ugh. Okay, she keeps looking in this direction, so maybe I can sneak past her. Hmm, oh, that worked. Oh, wait, yes, she turns away. Oh, wow, this is working. So now I really hope that this is the window where we can get in. Are you kidding me? It's just a rope. Can I just jump this? It worked. Ooh, now we can loot a little bit. Ah, glass bottles. We will need this for distraction. Scotch, we can sell this, as we Let's found go. out. Let's get those cups out to everyone who wants some. This is our test of faith, my friends. We hate this world. We all hate this world. We hate living in this flesh bag, not knowing our heart. So, what is this multi-tool anyway? I've never seen this. Not even as Arthur. I have heard this. But do we hate it enough? Anyone can say sure. Well, I don't we know how fire. else we should get anywhere. Because well, I suppose we can't climb this. What if I suppose we have to go through here. Vehicle. There's no other choice. What if there is no or can I throw a glass That's bottle really into the tripwire to... Can I throw this glass bottle and then hide? It works. It works. Wow. Oops, ouch. Okay, so I shouldn't be in front of it. Ouch. Okay, well that probably wasn't the most... ...classiest thing. Oh, I guess maybe this is where... The missiles came out of. Throwing it overboard. How can you float up to the pickup vehicle if you're weighed down by a bag? You can't. It's not my glass balls. We have to leave the flesh bag and be our soul. Be only our soul. So I think I'm just gonna. Oops, oops. Okay, that wasn't so smart. But at least they don't. 
At least they don't hear no it. Punishment except any being punished. There's no retribution unless you already feel like you're being Okay, just turn on. Yeah. You just won't ascend. You don't transcend. And sooner or later, but probably sooner, the things are going your flesh <laughs> Let's go. Let's get those cups out to everyone who wants some. This is our test of faith, my friends. We hate this world. We all this hate is so this world. creepy. We hate living in this Ew. flesh bag, not knowing our higher purpose. What kind of but parkour is this? Enough. Anyone can say, sure, I hate living in a flesh bag. But then you say to them, Maybe this is what I needed the cat suit for. And they're scared. They're scared to jump. What if the pickup vehicle is okay. not really a moment? What if there is no pickup vehicle? That's what you need. What's in here? It really hates the flesh bag. Okay. You have to be willing to not burn it without any solid confirmation that What's the pickup vehicle is there. Stairs. Does it seem strange to you? Sure. Jesus Christ said, okay. whosoever will save his life shall lose it. What's in here? 16. The Hindus seek moksha. Liberation from the cycle of the yeah, world. Rat. They all ask us to embrace the next world and to joyfully give up this world. Because, of course, there is a okay. I've been on it. This guy I is so creepy. I want to turn off his radio because I'm pretty sure he won't. He doesn't repeat himself all the time. Okay, this is jammed. We can't go through here. I couldn't tell you the good news. I'm not talking about now. No one's talking about martyrdom. Okay, what I'm talking about might look like martyrdom to the cowards. I'm talking about leaving the flesh bag behind. Throwing it overboard. How can you float up to the pickup vehicle if you're weighed down by a bag? You can't. Okay, I it's think fast. we should be able to sneak through this. We have to leave the flesh bag and be our soul. Be only our soul. <gasps> yes! <gasps> we can we can craft we can craft hallucinex. Yes, finally. Oh no, wait, no, not hallucinex. Um, knockout juice. Yes, when we're at home, we can do it. This is taking a leap of faith. We have our faith that the transcendent will catch us. So I guess we need to go downstairs. Except how you're already being punished. There's no retribution unless you already feel like you're being retributed. You just want to say Okay. Probably sooner the way things are going, your flesh bag. Let's go. Let's get those cups out to everyone who wants some. This is our test of faith, my friends. We hate this world. We all hate this world. We hate living Get in this away here, rats. You will die soon. If you don't... Well, don't know where the starts come from. The ceilings. Enough. Anyone can say, sure. Oops. I hate living in a flesh park. Well, don't then. And they're scared. They're scared to jump. What if the bigger okay. vehicle is not really in orbit? What if there is no bigger vehicle? That's why you need to hate, to really hate the flesh bag. You have to be willing to not burn it without any so, solid confidence. Wait a second. The pickup vehicle is there. We can't go. Does this is not the right way. What is the right way? Jesus Christ said, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Matthew 16. The Slime yeah, something? Or? For the cycle of they all ask hmm. us to embrace the next world. Oh, I see, I see. This world. Because, of course, there is a pickup vehicle. I've been on it. I've talked to the transcended, both humans and. Okay, maybe I should open up a window just for safety. No, we need to go out here anyway. I couldn't tell you the good news. Okay. I'm not talking about that. Oh no, it just no gives me. Light bearer flashbacks. Please don't fall. Ooh. Well, it's good that we have so many Jimmy bars. Okay. 
Oh, we could have gone in here anyway. So, is this, something, is this a secret room or is this where we need to go? Oh no, this is where we need to go. Damn it. Oh, that's too bad. I, I went in the wrong window because I thought that this was maybe the secret thing. So. That's what they're gonna poison everyone with. If I've done this right, they realize the world is a lot bigger than the garden district. Oh, something. Okay. Hide under the piano. Okay. We're going to watch this too. Oh, uh, an axe. Maybe we can sell this for good money. We're going to start handing out the cups now. Don't worry, there's enough for everyone. More than enough. But don't sip it. Or you might feel sick for a bit. A little might make you queasy. A full cup and you won't feel a thing. You'll just wake up in a little while, feeling no pain, feeling no gravity, looking down at the earth from the pickup vehicle, and then you'll get to meet everybody up there. Hansi. Really beautiful, aren't they? They're like... God's hands. I've never noticed all the colours. Is this heaven? Life's so short, you know? This place is bad. It's a bad place. Why did you want us to die? Why? It's because you wanted to die, isn't it? <laughs> you just wanted company. Let's get out of here. We're leaving! You can kill yourself if you like! Wait! Don't go! You'll miss the pickup vehicle! You'll all miss the pickup vehicle! You sick, dying bastard. What are you doing? These people are trying to get to a higher plane of existence. Are you mad? Or are you just a swindler who's convinced himself? I don't think I care. Prove it's not true. You can't. You might as well try to prove that God doesn't exist. I think Wellington Wells is a pretty good proof of that. Get out, meddler! Heathen! Whoa! I don't know why I just did that. I wanted to press one. Your feet! Sorry, pickup vehicle service on this line has been permanently suspended. Oh, he has honey too. Well, we saved some people. But... Hmm. I also realized there's um, this, this fog above um, their heads. Those, those were histoplasm um, mushrooms. So, I don't know. It's kind of sad that there aren't more of them here. Okay. Well. That isn't scary. Um. Whoa, it's a piano that I can't play on. What's happening here? Okay. Yes, more histoplasm. That's very good. Ew! Ew! That's creeps. Or I guess this is all. This was all him, I suppose. Atomizer, yes. So I guess when we get home again, we will be able to craft some knockout syringes. Okay. Ah, so this is the the room that I initially wanted to go go 
go inside wasn't such a secret room. It's just another way of entering, I guess. So. So there was nothing special here. That's too bad. Can I just jump out this window? Without hurting myself? Yes. Okay, no. Sorry. I can't help everyone. Okay. So, we are out. And now we can return to the witches. This time for real. You stopped them! How do you know that? Magic? <laughs> we can see it in your face. They weren't very happy with me. You took away their sense of purpose. I couldn't let them do it. What your mother did. Do you worry you have that in you? All the time. To be a mother is to worry. You have worlds within you. Only some are dead. Here, the recipes you need to replace the Blackberry Joy. You'll need red owl butterflies, Opsithanus cassii. They're hard to find, but they're all over the train station. You can use our old butterfly net. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Ollie Starkey lives there. Who knows if he'll remember me. Well then. Blessed be. Blessed be. Blessed be. Off I go to the train station. Then, to catch some butterflies. Oh well, so we will meet Ollie again. Also what I realized, I suppose that um, in the memory... Why do you take vanilla? Um, no, it doesn't work for you. In, the, in the last memory where uh, Sally was, S Sally found out that she was probably pregnant, I guess those women were the witches because they know her secret and I suppose. Um, they offered her some herbs too, so I suppose that the women from the last memory were, were the witches that we just met. So I'm just gonna skip to here. These tracks would be so much nicer with trains. And now we're gonna see Ollie again. <sighs> oh, I hope Ollie doesn't send us on a quest as well. Although we don't really need anything from Ollie, we just want, need to go to the station to catch some butterflies. So I wonder, do we now have to enter the ruins like we did in the beginning with Arthur through this hole that the head boys blew and do we have to fight all these head boys again? Oh well, it looks like it. Well, we have our winning argument, so... Oh, wait. Was this hole here before? Scorch marks? Did somebody blow it up? Oh, wow. I hope the butterfly survived. Oh, he's growing mushrooms. <laughs> Harvest those. Oops. Oops. This I hope the whole thing doesn't fall on me. This place changed a lot from the last time we've been here. What happened? Has Ollie turned completely crazy now? Butterflies! Hello! Really? Just one butterfly came out of this whole flock that we just catched? God. Oh! <gasps> Fuck in a bucket! I'm not getting out that way! Oh, money! <laughs> okay, I think I should pick up some more scotch. Just no oh, a memory. I 
can't let them go off on their own. I'd go in their place if I could. They're not hard like you. They're delicate. They're flowers. They still climb into bed with me when they have nightmares. I'd go anyway. I'm going to pretend you never said that. They'll be fine. They'll adapt. Kids adapt. Oh, you can't understand what it's like, can you? For someone to take your children away, to send them where you can't protect them. Where you can't even hold them when they cry, when they're scared. You're not a mother. And you probably never will be, will you? So maybe that's why um, Sally's mother didn't... Um, I don't know, I don't want to say it, but maybe that's why Sally's mother didn't bother to kill Sally with her and the rest of the kids, because her mother has always seen her as strong, so maybe that's the reason that Sally is the only survivor of the family, because her mother knew that she would be okay. Although it was really, I don't up know. There, are you? You think I can't climb in these heels? I don't know. It was really mean of Sally's mother too. I don't know. Just accuse her of, I don't know, not caring or never being a mother. <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh yes, there are a lot of butterflies here. I think I hear Ollie singing. You're so beautiful. I wish I didn't have to crush you into bits. Ah, I don't want to no. know that, Sally. Oh! Away from me! No! Ah! What's happening? The hell is going on? Uh huh. Is Ollie having hallucinations? Oh no! I still want to harvest those butterflies up there before helping him, but I think I can't. Okay, so let's just go. Hello? At least we're both in this together. How do you stay so calm? How? So, are they not... Are they not with the plague? I know just how you feel. You'd be amazed what people throw into the bins. I kind of... I kind of doubt that Sally knows how they feel. At least she has she hasn't been thrown out of her home. Oh, so wait. I think I'm lost. <laughs> There's a lot of butterflies to collect here. Oh. I've never seen a lock like this before. I can't pick it. Maybe one of these bastards has a key. I suppose that Ollie has a key, right? Why can't I get up there? How do I get up there? I suppose it's not over here. Oh wait, maybe the tower. Yeah, that sounds better. Oops. Well, you wouldn't survive the winter anyway. Have I? Did I have any new notes that I missed? No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, more butterflies to catch. There were two of them. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we are going to continue here. <laughs> okay, there's only one left. the last one I wonder oh I need to find a train station key first what hey
What doesn't kill you makes you strong, eh? Be kind to strangers. One day you'll be one of them. Take the keys and lock you poor them dear. Up. It's nice to talk. It. Lock them up. It's yes, good to talk. So. I guess. Do I have to? Just isn't our day, is it? I'm just going out. Hey, just let me search him. I don't know. So I guess I'm getting out of here. I still don't have all my butterflies though. Really? No, Sally, this is not the right time to collect your butterflies. Okay, so I think I'm gonna let them. Oh, down there they are. I'm gonna wait for them to relax a bit. Go ahead, listen to the music a bit. Do I have some more tea to drink? This is a fucking state of affairs. Pardon my French. Sometimes I like to sit down and read the paper. Now, Just how like do I get out of home. here? I already know how we get out of here, Sally. I already know. So I thought that I heard Ollie singing, but I guess this was just a record. So where is Ollie? This is brilliant. I can replace almost everything I need with botanicals and the old butterfly. <sighs> so what happened to Ollie? Is he safe up there on a the roof? I hope. So, what's next? Craft two pheromones. Can we do this here? No. We need to go home. Uh, we need to look after Gwen anyway, so... I guess that sometime soon our next conversation with Arthur should be happening. Although, see? This is the next thing that happened. The, that's, um, that happened in our... Um, conversation because when we were Arthur Sally told us where we were living so this doesn't even make any sense how is Arthur going to find us when in this conversation in the Sally arc we didn't even tell him where we live just doesn't make any sense <coughs> you are not authorized please clear the area immediately don't make me come. Don't make me So, come. they added, um, facts or something, or, I don't know, information to the conversation, but they also left out some major points that would have been important to, you know, um... Oh no. Oh, I get I get it why everyone's so suspicious of us. We we didn't change our clothes. Oops. Sorry. So yeah. It doesn't make any sense and it's kind of sad that they left those those, those I don't know. It really is a plot hole because Arthur shouldn't even be able to find us. Let's just go in the front door. It's still dented. Oh, 
Also, I wonder because <sighs> Sally told Arthur that a downer broke her window to her lab because although the door was open, but there is even there isn't even a window here. Everything's kind of strange here. Yes, we can craft. Finally, we can craft the knockout juice. Yes. And now we can craft the pheromone. Let's do it one more time. And now we should be I able. I better finish that batch of blackberry joy, or the whole world's gonna freak out. Probably. So will it be done soon, or does it take a while? You know, I'm gonna go upstairs real quick for Gwen. And then I'll check in with it later, because I suppose... I suppose this should be working on its own. Oh, I need to craft a diaper again. Luckily, this isn't so hard to craft, so complicated. Here you go, darling. I'll be glad when you're done with nappies. I suppose you'll be talking by then. I wonder what you'll tell me. Whatever I want to hear, probably. Didn't I just craft some in advance? Oh no, I'm lacking pure water again. I guess our filter is breaking down too soon. I think it will break down now. No! Also what I wanted to say for a long time is that this picture is also really weird. This is nothing that I would like to look upon when I walk out of my bedroom in the morning. Someday, when you have teeth, you'll be able to eat mummy's cooking. Now I know what you're thinking. I'm a very good cook, though my mum complained I never followed a recipe. I was always inventing my own. Alright, I did blow up one cake. And I never heard the end of it, did I? Well, you and I will cook up such lovely meals when we're in the countryside. That does sound nice. So, I guess we can walk down to take a look at our lab again. Oh, we can start something. Oh, okay, we should have stayed here. But, I guess. Oh, turn up the heat. I guess it wasn't so bad. It's in the night anyway. I guess the police is waiting for the joy. So I wonder how many pills come out of this. Oh, it even comes in a box. Answer the door. Oh no. Lovely day for it, oh. Miss Spoil. The lads have uh, grown quite concerned about the lack of blackberry in their diet. Then they're in luck. I've made quite a bit of it, and it's all for you, lads. Ho <laughs> ho Won't the lads be delighted? I hope you will accompany me to the station forthwith. Hmm. Um, the lads have um, prepared a little merriment to show our gratitude.
should hold you for a bit, right? And Miss Boyle will be sure to synthesise a blackberry on time next time. So we don't have all this awkwardness. After all, with all you lads are going through, who knows how long this batch will last? Not as long as the last one, I'll wager. How many times did I nearly get myself killed for this patch? Gwen, we have got to get out of this goddamn town. No, no. It's a rat. You're a rat. You have to be a rat. I wonder if I could get those boys. It's just a silly feeling. I'll go home and make sure she's all right. I'm sure she's fine. It's just one rat where it shouldn't be. Oh no, something happened. You can take your joy immediately. Oh no, I have a strange feeling. Yeah. I hope that nothing happened. Every morning. Oh no, oh no, 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 I hope nothing bad happened. And here I was, I wanted to talk about this strange performance from the cops, and this, w I don't know. Oh no, please be alright. Please be alright. <gasps> oh no. That's exactly how Mummy feels. She got out of hurt anyone. Oh no. Not even you. Aren't you hungry, darling? We'll get across to the mainland. I just haven't got the faintest fucking clue how. But I bet there are still cows out there. Or goats. Won't be this awful stuff Mummy proves. And a cute little runny nose. And a rash that keeps getting worse. Oh, and a fever. Dear Lord, please don't let it be measles. Oh no. So maybe this is where we need the cod liver oil for. Oh my god. Babies die of measles. How the hell do I treat it? Where the fuck am I getting at cod liver oil? Uh huh. So this is why we need cod liver oil. Cod liver oil. Yes, Doctor Verloc does have some, but he's pretty pissed off at Mummy right now. I'll die if I don't get cod liver oil. All right, all right. I'll go and see him. Maybe he's calmed down. Maybe. Christ, I haven't been to Hayworth Lab since I started showing. This is not going to be fun. Okay. 
So here's the question. Does Verloc know that he has a child or not? Not so sure. Oh well, so we're going to see Dr. Verloc. Oh boy. This is going to be exciting, I guess. So I guess it must be long until um until Arthur comes to to visit Sally at home. Well, my nose needs a bath. Oh, we need something to eat. And to drink, but that's good because we're going to eat some stew, which is both. Oh well. I wonder. So I don't know. Is it really as um, Dr. Verloc only sad, only mad at Sally because of her? disagreements with his methods or is there something else oh wait it's it's so late i wonder if it, will we be able to oh it's this nice picture again will we be able to enter although it's night i hope he's at the office 24 7 so So yeah, so this is what I was talking about, that Sally had a big, had a great reason for Arthur to ask for cod liver oil. Hello, it's Sally. Sally Boyle. Can I come in? Right-o, ma'am. I'll get the door for you. Miss Boyle, what a nice surprise. We haven't seen you in quite some time, have we, Constable Whistler? Indeed, we have not, Constable Layton. And may I say, ma'am, you brighten our day. Like, uh, like... Like Blackberry Joy. What would we do without our Blackberry Joy? And we thank you for it, don't we? I must say, Dr. Verloc is not equally thankful, seeing as you have become his primary competition. And he nurses a broken heart. Hell hath no fury, as they say. Are you quite sure you wish us to announce your presence? P please. Dr. Verloc, sir? I said no interruption. Dr. Verloc, sir, there is a young lady who wishes to see you. You'll have to be more specific. You place me in a quandary, sir, as you have expressly forbidden me to speak her name on any account. Sally. Hi. Come crawling back, have you? Please don't hate me, Anton. Oh, no? I teach you everything I know. You steal my notes. You are my notes, Doctor. You steal my business, and you have the nerve to come back here. You locked me out in the rain to teach me a lesson. And then you replace me with Bing. Anton. We were so close. So close to cracking the isometric structure of the new molecule. I suppose you cracked it on your own after you left, didn't you? Doctor. Your Blackberry. Doctor! I don't care if the General's protecting you. You've gone too far this time. Sergeant, arrest her. She's a thief. Don't let her get away. I am sorry, Miss Boyle. Uh, perhaps you had better... Yeah. Of course. Goody fuck, goody fuck. Why do I get cod liver oil now? So I guess it's... Arthur. He was always so good at finding things. If he can survive the Garden District... He was so mad, but... He could never stay mad at me for long. Not after he told me off. Okay. So I guess it's a good thing that Sally has the police basically in her pockets because she's the only distributor distributor of um, working joy. So I guess Verloc doesn't know that he has a daughter. And this is all so strange and this is also... Oh well, what's happening to this jubilator over there? 
So, this all just seems like such a, I don't know, dead end of this whole story because Verloc hates Sally because, I don't know, I suppose she left Hayworth because because um, she was pregnant and she, I suppose she couldn't tell Anton that. And, but I don't know, I still don't get this whole thing with the, with the general. I mean, it seems like she was with Dr. Verloc before, like in a relationship, and then she left, and then she left him entirely, or I suppose... He probably left, wanted to leave her too because she wanted to leave the business and made her own competition for him. But so yeah, and after that, she Sally started treating or whatever she's doing on her weird drug orgies with General Bing. But oh well, this is a very complicated story but what's really driving me insane is now that we have to visit arthur in the guard district which never happened when we were arthur so i i don't know i really don't like this weird um um spot and because now that we know a lot more it would also be a little bit i don't know if they just replayed the whole um conversations just from different views or something I think we would still know a little bit more than before, even if Sally added after that in to herself that it was Arthur's father that he's so mad about and whatever. But to me, this is just a little bit ruining of the story because we have already seen this timeline as Arthur and now and we know that this never happened because we have been with Arthur 24 seven, basically. Now when we're Sally, they're changing conversations that we already had when we were Arthur. And now they even put in quests of meeting Arthur as Sally that never happened when we were Arthur. So I really don't get it. I really don't get what's behind... I don't know. I, I really don't get it and it kind of, I don't know, throws me off a bit. Symptoms and treatments of measles. Medical care is required as measles can be fatal. Prior to the discovery of antibiotics, treatments included fluids, rest, and vitamin A from sources such as cod liver oil. <sighs> Gwen sick. Fucking measles. How do we even have measles here? The book says vitamin A. We don't get a lot of sun, do we? I mean, I get some sun, but if I did have any milk, I wouldn't bloody well give it to anyone to drink. The book says cod liver oil. Of course it does. It's mom's book and the book wasn't written in Wellington Wells after the victory. Where do I get it? Arthur would know where. He's so smart and he still hates me. Of course Anton has it, so I need to go see him. This will probably go horribly wrong, but I have to ask. So, he wasn't always this crazy, was he? No, he was charming and smart and smart and he didn't care I was a girl not in the lab anyway. Sure, he was a bit cold, but I thought, he's just a scientist. It was us against all the idiots who couldn't see. I guess I was keeping him sane or something. God knows I was fixing his calculations. God, I hate men. I mean, I love men, but sometimes I hate them. So, I guess this whole Sally and Verloc relationship was probably because they worked so hard together and they thought alike. So, um, we're feeling okay right now, so I guess, so where do we visit Arthur in the Garden District? Yeah, okay, of course, it's near the hatch that we haven't accessed yet. Now it makes sense, because Arthur wasn't on this island, wasn't he? Or did we go, no, we met Sally before we went to the Reform Club. Yes. Arthur hasn't been to the island where Dr. Faraday lives, so it does make sense again. Huh. It makes sense again. I'm sorry, game, for blaming you on this, but this makes sense again. Our quest now doesn't make sense. Hmm. So I wonder where Arthur is. Is he, is he at, the, at the playground again that he used to talk about in our last conversation? I guess that is, because where else would Sally think of? I mean, except for his um, old house. 
fuck was that? Oh no. I was so close to. I was so close to our goal. Okay, but he stays where he is, so I suppose. Okay. He doesn't know where I am, so I should... Whoa! Okay, yeah, you go fight each other, that's okay. So yeah, it's the playground. So we're going to meet Arthur in a new environment that didn't happen when we were Arthur, so... Yeah. We're going to see how that works out in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.